A few months ago on Kickstarter, I ordered my first ever 3D scanner, and this is the Revel Point Mini. Part of the Kickstarter package was that it included a few different items. So not only does it include the 3D scanner itself, but there's also this um, handheld stabilizer. And I believe this pops out, yes, to like a tripod um, so that you can put it on the table like this. That's kind of neat. And then it also came with a dual access turntable. Um, so this is gonna be my first 3D scanner. I've never used one before, and I hope that the learning curve isn't too high. I've been part of their Facebook group for a few months now, and now that some of the Kickstarter campaign uh, people have been um, receiving their item, um, some people are having trouble with it and others are figuring it out. So fingers crossed that I am in the camp of people who will figure this out. Here's an up close look at the, the parts that came with the Revel Point. Um, this is the dual access turntable like I showed you. Here's the scanner itself and some of the pieces that this came with. Cables, extra dots for tracking. Um, this also looks like it has some sort of like cleaning kit in it. I believe there's a cleaning cloth in there. That's nice. Um, and then this looks like a test piece for scanning. I've installed the software from RevoPoint, the scanning software and the studio software. And now I'm connecting the dual access turntable and it connects via Bluetooth to my computer. There's some threaded holes here on the turntable where I think you could secure a platform that would hold your model in place while this is turning on its axis. This is a sped up sample scan where I was just testing the different angles of rotation uh, to test out the capabilities of the turntable and how well that affects the scanning quality. This is so cool. Okay, meshing is completed. And here is the final look at the model. This looks phenomenal. I can see where it filled the gap on his head. Um, underneath his chin, it's a little tiny lumpy, but maybe we can fix that. Um, this looks really good. Okay, let's open a Prusa slicer now. I'm going to add my STL, load it, and boom, there it is. Interesting. It's got, like, I can see inside of it. That is weird. <laughs> Okay, and then if I wanted to print it, there it is. Um, Prusa Slicer is telling me uh, you have some errors here in your model, and it's attempting to repair them right now. It's probably mm. going to repair this giant hole that's in the bottom. Uh, the first time I went through and tried to scan this bust, it didn't have a hole at the bottom like that. Um, and I just did one rotation again, but, um, that's odd that you could do two different scans the same exact way and fuse it and mesh it the same exact way and have different results. It's working hard on fixing this thing. I've never had it take this long to, to fix the mesh. It says there's 3,165 open edges. Okay, this is telling me it's sinking. Let's put that up on the bed and it is fixed. Look at that. It's solid on the bottom now. That is awesome. This is sweet. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like a game changer for me. Like my mind is just swimming with ideas on how to use this scanner. I am so excited. This is great. There's a Facebook group for the Revo Point Mini. Um, and it's a, a scanning group and um, it consists of a lot of people who, who did the Kickstarter campaign. And we've all gotten our scanners now. Well, most of us have gotten our scanners now. And we're just kind of like, Get, getting through it together and it's super helpful. People are 
giving lots of feedback. Some people are getting really frustrated though because they're just not figuring it out. I'm really happy with this. I think the learning curve for me is just going to be learning the best practices for 3D scanning and also learning, you know, what are the limitations for this particular scanner. Um, other than that, I and learning Revo Studio, I can see how I could really just get up and, and running with this already. Um, for just basic scans, I think I could really do a lot just right out of the gate right now. Um, so I'm super excited and uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are um, familiar with 3D scanning and what scanner you have and if you like it or don't like it. Um, and if you have this one especially, let me know some things, tips or tricks that you've learned that could be helpful for me. Okay, thanks.